In this video, I want to introduce to you rationalising the denominator. Now, the word rationalise, to start off with, I introduced to you in the first video the difference between a rational and an irrational number. So the word rationalise, okay, should hark back to that definition beforehand. Now, the idea is that we want to rationalise the denominator. We want to make the denominator in this fraction rational. Because at the moment, what we have there is a third square root of 2, which we know to be irrational. Now, a good question at this point is why? Why would we bother? Well, before uh, calculators and computers came along, um, dividing by the square root of 2 is inherently difficult to do uh, by hand. The main problem is that the square root of 2, in order to be divided, would have to be rounded. Um, so, otherwise the process just wouldn't work. So because you've got to round it and you can't write it as a fraction, uh, the answer that you get won't be exact. So this process of rationalising the denominator came about and it's something we still use today because we don't particularly like to deal with fractions that have a third in the denominator. And hence that's why we rationalise the denominator. So, how do we do it? Well, as with a lot of things at this kind of stage, uh, there's a trick. And the trick is that we multiply by 1, which seems a bit strange. Because if I just write down times 1, okay, that's not giving the game away here. The game is that 1 can be written as a fraction... Um, and I could choose the values in the numerator and denominator. As long as the numerator and the denominator are the same, that fraction will be 1. Except, of course, 0 is 0. So, if I change 1 to be a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are both square root of 2, the denominator that I'm given here, then this won't change the fraction. If I multiply by 1, I don't change the fraction. But what it opens up is if I multiply these fractions together, the denominator, root 2 times root 2, will just become 2. And on the numerator, I have 3 times root 2, which is 3 root 2. Okay? So what's happened is that the 3 root 2, when I multiply it by 1, has become 3 root 2 over 2, or 3 halves root 2. Okay? Both the same thing. Now, trying to work that out is much, much easier, because I'm going to be multiplying 1.5 by root 2. Okay? So, this is how we rationalise the denominator for simple fractions like this. I'm multiplying it by 1, where the 1 I've chosen to be the denominator, the third, over itself. Okay? And that then allows me to multiply the fractions, multiply the numerators and the denominators, and then to simplify. Okay? So we're going to be looking at some more examples of this in the next video.